Hi guys and welcome back to AimCAD. Today we're going to be starting from the beginning and learning the AutoCAD interface and what you need to know when you first open up AutoCAD. Alright, so with that being said, AutoCAD is made up of a few different parts, about nine to be exact. Um, the first main part is your model space right here. The model space is pretty much where all of your drawing is going to be done. The second space is your command line right here, and that's pretty much where you're going to find all the commands you're currently running. Whenever you type something in, it's going to appear down here, unless dynamic input is open, and then it'll be on your cursor. You also have the status bar down here at the bottom. The status bar is going to have all these fancy commands like ortho, dynamic input, O snaps, polar, and a bunch more that uh, you may or may not want on. These commands usually save you time by automating a certain process, and you'll get to know them as we go further into our AutoCAD learning videos. In the top left-hand corner, that big A is known as the Applications menu. The Applications menu holds kind of common things like Open, New, Save, Import, Export, Print, all the usual things you're kind of used to. Now, there's kind of a little bit of a trick to it, and you have to hover over some of them for a while with the arrows here to kind of see all of what's under them. Some of them are just saved though, and in which case, that's all it's gonna do. So anytime you see a little arrow, kind of hover over for a little bit and you'll see it switch. And then from there, you can kind of scroll in here and see everything that's available to you. It's also a neat way to get to your options menu if you need to get there. And also holds your most recent documents open as well, I believe about 10 drawings. Now, you'll notice the more prominent thing at the top here is what we call the ribbon tabs, which are made up of ribbon tab panels. So the ribbon tab at home, it has the draw panel, the modify panel, the annotation panel, basically a way of organizing the panels. And then when you switch to another tab, you notice you get another set of panels. This is all fully customizable, but this is what you get out of the box. Now you'll also see at the top, you have your quick access toolbar here. This is just things for a quick save, a quick save as print, undo and redo are the most important things on here. Um, in the bottom left hand corner, you'll know you're currently in model space because model is in bold. If you saw layout in bold, you would know you're in layout space or layout two for that matter. Now you can have as many layout spaces as you want, but you can only really have one model space. So with that being said, that is the most important things in AutoCAD. Now, you'll notice how I said dynamic input is usually on by default. So that's this button right here. So when I type, if you'll notice, things come to the right of the cursor there. Now, if, if that off, you'll notice if I type, it comes in the command line only, not next to the cursor. So that's one of the things that you may note that you may kind of not or may or may not like actually from your, your version of AutoCAD you've used in the past. I like to leave it off because I'm not used to it. Um, but honestly, you should really get used to it on, as that is sort of the new way of doing things. And that's all there really is to the AutoCAD interface. So just to review and recap, you have the quick access toolbar, you have the applications menu, you have the ribbon tabs, which are made up of ribbon panels, you have the command line, you have model space, you have layout space, and also the tabs in which dictate which space you're in, and you have the status bar once again at the bottom here. Now the status bar, if you notice, mine's full of commands. If yours is not, if you click on this little three buttons here, some of them will be cut off, but just note anything with a checkbox will appear. And that's pretty much all you have with the AutoCAD interface. Now, when it comes to moving around in AutoCAD, you have your cursor. So your cursor kind of moves around there, otherwise known as the crosshairs, because that's kind of what it looks like. Now you have click, which is typically the left click on the mouse, which is your major click. That's usually used to select items, pick from point to point, stuff of that nature. Then you have your right click. The right click can act as your enter key, as well as pulling up shortcut menus. Um, so if you ever wanna go click on something and then right click, so if you click on it, highlight it, right click it, you usually get the properties or something that has to do with that particular object. Then right in the middle of those two buttons, you have your middle mouse button usually used to scroll. So that'll zoom you in or out. So I'll put a circle in real quick so you can zoom in or out. 
by moving it away from you it zooms in by pulling it towards you it zooms out and you click and hold that button and of course then you have your pan now you can kind of pan using the zoom in zoom out function as well just by moving the cursor because wherever the cursor is that's where it's zooming in so by zooming in zooming out zooming over you can kind of pan on your own without using this middle mouse button which is why some people do repath it which we'll learn about in future videos hi guys and thank you for watching the video Make sure you, if you haven't done so already, you subscribe to the channel and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and it helped you out. Also make sure to click that notification bell if you wish to be notified when we upload new videos.